Hi, Multi Retro Man here. Um, I'm doing this video because somebody asked me about the Amiga emulator and about doing high definition games, uh, which I presume means interlace. Now, I've just had a quick look on various options and I've sort of compared the Win UAE compared to the FS UAE. Uh, and I think you'll find the, uh, the answer's quite interesting. Well, I hope you will anyway. Enjoy the video, guys. Give me a thumbs up and a like if you like it. Right, I'm just doing a video now. I've changed the, the uh, resolution, whatever. Um, if you've done something like that, I created Abamoon DF, which is a, uh, a configuration file, if you like, with some things. If you find out that it doesn't work, one thing I was wondering is how do you delete them? Well, that's the answer. If you go to the directory of FSUAE, there's a directory called Configuration, which pretty standard, you know, makes sense, doesn't it? So there you can see mine, which I've highlighted on there. So if I delete that, you want to permanently delete it. Now this is the first time I've tried this, so I'm not even sure if it's going to work. However, if I go to the options on there and do the update file database, and go to scan. It's now disappeared. You can see it's now disappeared. Now the only thing I'm wanting to try and do is get this Amiga 3000. Um, for some strange reason, it doesn't seem to um, work, despite the fact I've got loads of different ROMs. So I shall keep trying. And if I find one that works, I shall do a video of it. So I get the uh, I managed to get the Amiga 3000 ROMs. However, I've just thought about copyright issues and stuff, so I'm not going to tell you where to find it. All I would say is have a look in the documents and, you know, have a look on search engines, shall we say. And you should be able to find the, the right one. I did. I'm not quite sure how this ball is going to look, but this is using the uh, Win UAE emulator. Um, question was asked about interlace. Now, interlace means... Um, well, the, the old version, he basically wanted to like, see why it's not showing in HD. Now, HD on this, the Amiga, to me, means interlace. Now, one of the options is on here, if I find it, uh, the host, host display. And the options there, you've got interlace line mode. So you put double and then fields plus, and then the line mode, double fields plus. And that's when you get the... Um, Sort of like the, the interlace kind of screen. So like that, you can't really see it very clear because it doesn't really. Oh, that is a bit better. But you see, when you look at that, that's what the Amiga used to look like when you'd watch it on a see it on a monitor. The only problem is it flickers the whole time, so it doesn't just flicker for this. You know, it flickers for everything. So that's one of the reasons why I, I think it's disabled by default. You know, um, shame really, but hey. -o. Okay, now this is the inter this is the non-interlace version of FS UAE on the Amiga 500. Um, at first, I thought that the graphics weren't as good, uh, but looking at that, that's not too bad. But as a comparison, you can see here. I'll put them side by side and let you think. We'll have a look, see which you think's better. Okay, now from the initial look in here, they don't look to be much different, really, but. When you look at them a bit closer up, the interlace one does look a bit clearer and a bit more definition. Hi, right. Okay, now, look, obviously pros and cons of both emulators for the Amiga. Um, WinUAE is brilliant because it's highly configurable. You know, you can do pretty much whatever you need with it. You can change the graphics and everything else. But is it really worth having all those options? Well, for me, not really because if you're wanting things like ease of use, definitely go for the other one, the FS UAE, because it's a lot easier to use. You can create your own games if you want to as well. So, you know, if the game's missing and you've got the game, you know, maybe like a PD game or something like that, you can add it quite easily into the, um, you know, into the system. Um, I mean, obviously, the, the certain things I, th I suppose with interlace is okay, but the problem you've got is it's interlace like on the other one is either interlace is on or it's off. There's never a happy medium, like especially with like Great Garner Sisters, which I like to use that version or that game rather because, um, you know, it it sort of plays initially up the first part, the loading etc is not in high res, but then the actual loading screen itself 
does high res, you know, of interlace. So, you know, you'd ideally want something that changes between the two. And I think FS UAE seems to do really, really well at that. In, not in the fact it's changing the resolution, but that the quality of the uh, the picture, which, you know, it, it's obviously I used to think it was a lot better than it actually is. But then thinking about the lines that they used to be there, um, you know, 692 by 540. You can't go wrong, really. So, like I said, Win UAE is great if you want to control every single part about the options. You know, if you want to have hundreds and hundreds of options, which I suppose it partly could be overkill. You know, that you want to try and do something and it says you can't do this because it's got this or whatever. Which FS UAE does as well to a certain extent. But... It's a lot more forgiving FS UAE and it's a lot easier because most of the things come pre-configured anyway. So, you know, you click on a game, you click on the start and it pretty much should work straight away, you know. So, which would I say? I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm going towards the FS UAE version now. Um, like I say, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any queries, uh, like people have done before on my previous video, you know, message me and I'll hopefully do my best to answer it as I can like I did with this one because like I said with the high res one he, the guy wasn't too sure uh, or girl which you know I apologise you know in advance because it wasn't a male or female name um, but hopefully I've answered, sort of answered the question for you and uh, it'll work one other thing I forgot to mention about FSWA is it has some lovely shortcuts I said lovely because WinUA didn't really have any shortcuts as such um, but it has like, if you press Alt and W, it goes into Warp Zone, which means it makes it run a lot faster, load the games faster and everything else. Alt and Q um, quits, at the basically, they just took completely out. The only downside to that is if you actually do compress control and Q by mistake, it means you've got to restart it all again if you've got, to, you know, you've got so far with the loading or whatever. But to be honest, the fact that you can use the Warp option about five times quicker maybe, um, so that's really really useful so again once for thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel as well which would be great if you do and uh, I appreciate it when if you didn't like it just let me know what you didn't like and I'll look at doing future videos better than you know and hopefully improve them so thank you very much once again bye bye